Okay. That. Yeah, I can see oh, him. Hey. I'm sorry. You mentioned uh, Tony, or you mentioned All for One earlier. And says his ears must have been burning because I called <laughs> Merry Christmas, and he called me, and I hung up on you while I was trying to hit stop on him. Okay. Just, he kept he kept calling like three times. <laughs> So I'm sorry about that. No, 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 no it's, it's fine. That's why it's, that's why it's pre-recorded. So it, it, it's a lot easier stuff. Um, but yeah, so you said you, you, you had a point where you're focused on, on yourself and then also then doing your, your own music. Yes. Um, I have been working on this. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a double album. I, I have oh. a lot of material. I have two more songs that I need to do. One is going to be um, Stay Together from Al Green. And the other one is going to be um, Sam Cooke's Cupid. Like, wow. I love the old school stuff, man. I'm, I think I'm an old soul. So what I'm getting at is all of the songs that I've written through the turmoil, being with the group, not being with the group, being with the group, getting married, trying to get sober, failing, just that whole trip over all these years. Yeah. I have songs that are literally diary pages. Wow. And so... Um, like the single I have out now is called Because of You. He's calling me again. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was <laughs> okay. Tony. I actually answered and said, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm in the middle of it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. no. That'll so be a good one to laugh at later. Yeah. <laughs> so you said you, 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 your album sort of chronicles your, your, your past uh, decade and, and plus. Yes, um, I've written a lot of songs over the years, never released them, mm. um, and I've got some a few new ones, and like I said, um, a couple more, but um, it's basically, like I said, a diary. I, I wrote about what I was trying to do. There are literally songs where I'm, I'm saying, there's a girl, uh, uh, If She Only Knew, If She Only Knew is a song about, you know, if this girl even knew how awesome she was. Uh, she would leave this guy that's treating her rotten and doing things. And, you know, like a song that it sounds like you're speaking to somebody else's woman. You're trying to get her to leave a bad relationship, but you're talking to your own woman, you know, wow. Wow. like those kind of things. There's one called changes. I've made these changes for you. There's, you know, failing, failing and, and getting back up. So there's all these songs on there. And so what I want to call it is uh, Diary of a Bad Man. Bad with D's. Bad with two D's. Like, color me bad. Diary of a bad man. Okay. Like, jump, diary of a mad band. Yeah, I, yeah, I was going to put that up. Yeah. When do you hope to to, to, to bring release it? Uh, soon. I mean, I have, because of you out, I'm still in the process of trying to find uh, some investors. There's some people in that, that, that are interested in investing. The yeah. song and the album needs a push. Uh, and I'm, I'm still looking for that. I'm still going to put it out regardless of if that happens or not. Um, and I would say it will definitely be out in 2022. This is that year. So, so that question then becomes because when, you know, the industry has changed to where um, most people listen to music, say, on YouTube. You know, they just, you know, actually within the, the 90s, the, the people who really rocked the 90s, they listen to their music on YouTube, then you've got a, a smaller demographic that would stream on Spotify and Tidal and, and Apple and stuff. So, is and but then there's also the case where some bands are putting artists are putting out music um, almost as a way of marketing the fact that here I, I've got some stuff, but I'm going on tour and I'm going to be singing all the all the hits. That's what, what is, I'm going. That's what, what is, I'm doing. What is the, 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 the hope with it? I mean, I'm sure you want everyone to buy it, but is it generally in the sense of, okay, Brian is back you know, after a, a number of years. I've got some new music, but when I do come on tour, I'll sing some of the classic hits that you're so familiar with and some of my new stuff. Of course. I'll definitely be singing the Color Me Bad material. Um, I love and miss those days. Uh, I really do. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. Everything happened for a reason. Mm. So I will continue to do those songs, but I'll do the new ones too. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I, streaming is where it's at right now, I guess, just 
you know, getting your stuff out there to the masses. Here's what it is. I just want to do it right. And because this is all new to me, I'm old school. So this is, this is all new how it works. These, And if I do it, I want to like really pull it off. That's, that's basically what I'm saying. Um, if it doesn't happen the way I hope it does, it will still be heard. Um, we're working on, uh, I, I just did a, a mini documentary uh, mm. that um, is, uh, it's been recorded by Lampstand, a company here that has five, um, what are they? Lampstand, they have the f- five Emmys they've got for a, a docu-series called Killing Pain. Mm. And it was based on the whole opioid addiction okay, thing. Okay, okay, yeah. That I was asked to do something uh, talking about, you know, part of my story. So my goal is the album and uh, we, we've, we're starting a nonprofit called um, Flowers in the Attic. Not addict like upstairs, but in the attic. Mm. Oh, in um, the attic. Okay. Yeah. And so um, there's going to definitely be some changes. I'm always going to sing those songs. Yeah. I love singing those songs and I love my fans. But now they're going to get to see the real me. Mm. I wouldn't say 100% back then. The, the, I had my happy times, but I was dealing with my baggage. I was dealing with the trauma and the PTSD yeah. my entire life up till this last three years. Yeah. And so this, this is who I am. And I really do feel like that guy from high school again. And I gained the weight back too, so it's perfect. <laughs> Well, you know, when 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 the music and and the documentary um, are, are about to come out, if you if <clears throat> if you let us know, so we can also give it to push and advertise and and, and stuff, just because it's a it'll be worth everyone getting a chance to to catch them both. Um, I know, as I mentioned, most of most of our of my age demographic, they tend we tend to listen to our new music on YouTube, so maybe watch see a video and stuff so if uh um it's just how you know we, we none of us have cd players i don't even know how to play a cd in the house and uh, so we just go on youtube and just watch and listen well what about mp3s like can i send you some some oh, mp3 yeah no, yeah no you can send me any yeah and and as i said it's um and if you have any visuals of, of yourselves and stuff so i can at least people to to know that you are putting stuff up but yeah definitely and uh, we'll definitely push it. do some things for sure, man. I'd like to stay in touch with you for real. I, this is the best, the best interview I've ever done. I really enjoyed it. it. It's helping me. I'm probably, I was all over the place. I sucked, but you were great. No, no, no. Good. I, I always end my interviews back to my guess that if you were stuck in an elevator and you had to watch a film before they got you out, what movie would you request? Tropic Thunder. <laughs> okay. you got Ben Stiller, Tom Cruise, <laughs> the, Matthew McConaughey. The funniest movies I've ever seen. My wife, <laughs> she hates. Can't get enough of it, man. I was just looking <laughs> little pieces on YouTube the other day. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. I love Dada Junior. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, they were brilliant, all of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. It was a very weird film, but yeah, yeah. It 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 was. Tom Cruise with those big, big arms, big hands and stuff. Yep. And he's doing his dancing as well. <laughs> and so the fantasy stuff, that's, you know, I know a lot of people want to see the real, the, the real stuff. And there's beautiful, I, I love old movies. I love Fred Astaire. Um, some of those old dance movies and that, that type of thing. But I guess comedy would be what, what saves me. Yeah. I have to find humor in it all or yeah. it's, it's impossible to get through so that would be why the first thing i thought was it has to be something that i would laugh to and get my mind off of this yeah you know, stuck in an elevator yeah i need something funny going on <laughs> and then the final question is always what's your sort of all-time favorite song wow donny hathaway this song's for you okay song for you it's amazing <sighs> I, I would say that that's probably donny hathaway is probably the most um, I, I, as I said, I've done maybe 50 or, or so of these interviews, but the name that comes up the most among the male artists is Donny, Donny Hathaway. Um, as, as yes. one of greatest, man. Yeah. He's the greatest to me. 
Yeah, I mean, and as I said, he had a sad, short ending to his to his life and his career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put his soul into his music. Yeah, him, Marvin Gaye. I would say Marvin Gaye and Donny Hathaway. Like when you're talking legendary, I'd say those guys. Those guys are amazing. Yeah, I mean, Brian, it's been it's been great. I mean, I've you know almost feel rejuvenated as a. As a therapist, as I as I go 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 to <laughs> just you know just to, um and as I just said, if most of my interviews are very much me listening, and and so I I've, I I've, this is probably the first time I've actually um got involved in the interview. Normally, I just listen to the stories and stuff. So I appreciate the fact that you gave me the space to be able to contribute because normally um I I, I listen and 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 ask the questions. Um, not I've, it's just, I've, I've never had to contribute in an interview before so that's uh that's this is this is a first but as i said it was really powerful hearing your stories and your journey I, and i just felt to to, to join in and, and stuff so um, i'm glad you amazing i actually was worried because i felt like i spoke over you through the entire interview <laughs> i felt like i was talking yeah, well, that's the whole point because it's called halftime chat and it's with with brian abram and and it's about listening to you and, and stuff but as i said um it's you've given us some... amazing man yeah what you... input is what took what i was saying and like because you were dead on about everything like you're good I, I i can tell and i'm gonna be calling you like hey man can i can i get a session <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching please remember to subscribe to the channel but most importantly to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview loads to come but thanks a lot for watching